Cool. Get a little more sound in the music. Welcome. Episode 10, double digits. Yeah, momentum. It's January 1st. 2021. We did it. We survived 2020. There's no guarantee of what's going to happen in 2021, but we did it. You and I. (laughs) Onwards and upwards. Happy New Year. Fuck yeah. All right. This is, like I said, episode 10. And today's topic is Where are you supposed to be in your life? I went down to the beach this morning to meet with some friends. And before I went, I had a list of things I wanted to do for the day. And one of them was go to that meeting with my friends. And I was coming back and I was in a hurry. It was an absolutely beautiful morning. I've got all day to do this list and yet I was rushing I was rushing and rushing I had to get there I had to to do 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 and there was this couple that had was crossing and they had a baby carriage crossing the street so I had to stop and I was watching the timer and it had like 18 seconds left and I was like fuck and then I realized it's like, what if I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now? What if you are exactly where you're supposed to be? What if we're always exactly where we're supposed to be? What if there is like this loving presence like God or the power of the universe or whatever your gig is but that's always there and there's this massively bigger picture and right in front of us is exactly where we're supposed to be. What if I'm always rushing around and I don't see what's right here, right now? So I slowed down and I started looking at the light and it was shining on the mountain. I live now inland toward the mountain. Perfect. I thought about going through my day today and there's time today. I can relax and be present and in the moment and calmly and peacefully follow through on the actions that are aligned with the values and the goals that I have. I don't have to be in a hurry or a rush or think that, have a fear that somehow if I don't rush, 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 I'm going to miss it. What if you're exactly where you're supposed to be in your life? Ah. Sure makes breathing easier. (laughs) What a beautiful lesson. Thank you, couple, with the new baby. Slowing me down a little bit. Let me get present. Thank you to life. What a gift. What a gift it is to breathe easily. What a gift it is to have these realizations and to have this desire to accomplish things and 
bro. And in so doing, become the person with the power, whatever you call it again, God, or whatever your gig is. We'll call it God just because that's simple. But created me to be and you to be. What a gift. What a gift to be open. What a gift to have hope. Hope springs eternal in this new year. And in the outside world, we have no idea what's going to happen this year. Maybe worse than 2020. But in the inner world, we can be at peace. We can connect with that power and be exactly where we're supposed to be right now. Dig it. So that's my message for you in the new year. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Exactly. I'm getting dinged like crazy through my computer with with a group text. And that's exactly what's supposed to be happening right now. I don't know if you can hear the dings, but it's driving me nuts. Okay, it's cool to be included. Include yourself this year, include yourself today. May you breathe easy. May you find a peaceful forward movement in your life, an expansion and a never-ending awakening and expanded awareness on waking up to the things that block you from feeling that and then the awareness on what could be I had this friend he passed away a number of years But he would always say, what if you had a beautiful life and you didn't know it? I think what he meant by that was, you have a beautiful life. Don't be blind to that. All your struggles, All your problems. It is part of this scenario. The classic Coen Brothers movies. It was slow, so it wasn't super popular. It was called A Serious Man. And I remember watching it going, this is so bad why am I watching this it was about this guy who had all these petty problems all these petty problems and there were so many of them and they were annoying the shit out of him and from watching it they were annoying the shit out of you and I mean he had a dispute with his neighbor who was bullying him his wife left him for this douchebag his kids had some uh, subscription that he couldn't get out of. I mean, just all this just petty shit the whole time. And I kept thinking, why am I watching this? This is so slow and lame. And this guy's so spineless. And, And then at the end, 
all that shit went whoosh because he had some real problems real shit was about to hit the fan and all that petty stuff went whoosh and I realized that's why I'm watching this movie what a what a gift to have some perspective live a beautiful life today we're still in the game. Fuck yeah. All right. Much love to you. Happy New Year. If you got any value, if you enjoyed the video at all, please subscribe, like, and share. And I'm trying to build a community here. And I do this every day. Momentum. It's a beautiful thing. Come ride the wave with me. Happy New Year. See you tomorrow.